just wanna stop and say Yes, I'm Garby, ready now Gonna show you how Tell me, do you like this game? Let's pretend it's true It's me and you and all our friends Like the Musker Hounds Imagine if one day you Find yourself in danger Like the Dengar, no stranger to it Episode begins in the royal palace where a very important conference is taking place. Hmm. 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 The unfortunate events of last night are worrying the king and I a great deal. Yes, that slippery thief almost got away with everyone at the party's jewelry. We were lucky to stop him. And he sure was elusive. He just disappeared. The only trace he left was a black rose. Plus, he disguised himself by wearing a mask. We could walk right by the fellow and not know him. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just got a great idea. Huh? huh? What kind of idea? I'm all ears. We have no clues. True. However, he does have a routine which we hadn't thought of. He robs from the rich. That's what all thieves do. I don't get it. You've got us all quite baffled, Dog Tanyon. It's really very simple. Some harmless-looking nobleman who was loaded up with jewels would surely be the perfect target for that masked scoundrel. Right, we'll lay a trap. His greed's bound to lead him right into it. Hmm, but we must think of someone who's innocent-looking and would be willing to help by being the bait. Hey! I just thought of who'd be the ideal person. Blanche! Huh? Oh, Blanche? Blanche? Yep. First off, he'd do it because he's one of our very best friends. Secondly, he'd love to have an opportunity to serve the king. You're absolutely right, Athos, he would. But we'll also need someone to pose as his wife. Now, who, uh... Wait a minute, what about Rhonda, Athos' sister? She's been hoping to meet a nice, eligible bachelor. This could be her opportunity to serve her country and go on a date at the same time. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh... <laughs> right, Muska Hounds, I'll be depending on you to snare this masked man. Go ahead and use whatever means you think will do the job. Monsieur Treville, you can count on us. Yes, sir. We'll bring that fellow to justice. Farewell. I'll reassure the king. Best of luck to you, lads. The Muska Hounds had gone off to find Planchet and to put into place their plan to capture the elusive masked man. Both his identity and his location were a mystery to all, so it would have been a great surprise to Dog Tanyon and his friends to learn that they could have located the thief known as the Black Rose at the very palace they had just left. <laughs> oh, I know what 
is the matter with you? Can't you see I'm trying to get work done? Huh? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing out here. Nothing at all. Hmm. Disturb me for nothing one more time, and you're in trouble. I'll have you stuffed. of scatting or shooing. You'd be wise not to raise your voice again or to make the slightest move. Otherwise, you'll never drink water again without dripping. Mm, perhaps you're not aware of who you are dealing with. It so happens I am the Cardinal and you'll be... I am well aware of who you are, Your Eminence. That is precisely why I'm here. Now hand over your valuables, quickly. Oh dear, I have nothing at all. I'm poor. How comedic. Everyone knows you're one of the richest men in France, so don't waste my time. Aha! <laughs> hmm. Well, Your Eminence, your generosity is quite overwhelming. There's still your ring, of course. Give it to me. Ah, you beast. There. I hope you're happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come immediately, quickly, guards! Oh dear, oh dear, your eminence, whatever is the matter. Get out of the way, you two. I'm here, sir. Where were you when I needed you? A thief was here. He just escaped out that window. Huh? 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 What's he talking about? Huh? Huh? Uh, with all due respect, no one's out there. That fellow's too quick for the likes of you. He was able to make good his escape and get away. I can't understand it. Who'd have the nerve to rob you? It was that mask man, the one that Dog Tanyon let escape from the ball the other night, which was quite suspicious. It wouldn't surprise me if they were in it together. Just like he plotted with Pettigreen Hood. Right, Widimer. For once in your life, you caught on. Now I want you to follow Dog Tanyon and his friends' movements both day and night. The odds are very good they'll lead us right to the Masked Man. <coughs> you can certainly rely on me, Your Eminence. I'll get to the bottom of this. Your Eminence. <coughs> Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. So a small visiting card. The audacity! I'll make you pay, wait and see! Meanwhile, in the city, a normally lively and busy inn has been closed for the night. Or has it? How long are you two going to keep me in suspense? I've shut up the inn as you requested. What's going on? Try to be a little more patient, Planchet, my friend. As soon as Dog Tanyon and Athos arrive, we'll explain everything to you. Huh? Open up, it's us. Oh! <laughs> Password? One for all, and all for one. Gents? <laughs> Let me take that! <sighs> Uh, 
Well, Master D'Artagnan, I hope you'll tell me what this mystery is all about. No one is saying anything, and the suspense has got my stomach in knots. Lache, we have a very important mission which we must accomplish, and we've come to the conclusion that you're ideally suited to help. Is that a fact? Oh, oh. That's right. There is a masked man who not only robs unwary travelers, but who also had the nerve to show up at the ball for Lady Dalma. No doubt you have heard rumors about him. Oh, yes, I've heard that he's quite an amazing fellow for a thief, but what about it? Planchet, we want you to be the bait so we can reel that scoundrel in. My sister will help. Think of it as a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Planchet, it's not very complicated. We need you to pose as a nobleman. That's all. Huh? How am I, a humble innkeeper, supposed to pose as a wealthy noble? That's all been taken care of. His Majesty was kind enough to lend us a great deal of valuable jewelry and luxurious clothes. You're going to be quite the dandy once we get you dressed. Oh. Well, if I must, I'll get dressed up. Hmm. There. Ah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> it's pointless to keep trying on jewelry, Pip. I'm afraid that everything's in the extra large innkeeper size. We didn't get a single thing in the miniature mouse size. <laughs> Wise guys. Oh boy. Listen carefully, my friend. Here is the plan. You're going into the forest since that's an ideal place to be robbed. You'll be riding in a fine carriage dressed as if you were a wealthy nobleman. We will be traveling not too far behind you, ready to pounce. Oh, I see. When is this enterprise to begin? I believe we should leave now. Yep. We'll find a carriage while you get ready. I would suggest that the wisest thing is to leave by the back door. It's essential that we're not spotted by anyone. Hurry along now. We have an appointment with the Black Rose. Interesting. Hmm. I'd better inform Monsieur Blancbec about this. Indeed, yes. So, they mean to capture the Black Rose. I want you to prevent that. Abduct the fellow yourself, then bring him here. From what I've heard, he's a very resourceful and capable person. He might prove to be quite useful to me. I've heard the king himself wants the thief caught. Why, how droll, and what a shock the poor fool is going to get. They'll capture the thief, and then we'll steal him. I've spotted them at the Inn of Planchet, D'Artagnan's old servant. My men are keeping an eye on them. I've no doubt they've come up with a plan to capture the masked man and bring him to justice. Good. We'll allow those Cretans to do all the work. Let them set the trap. I'm too clever for them. You most certainly are, sir, which is why only you are suited to be the true king. Yeah. Meanwhile, back in Paris, the Muska Hounds have completed their preparations and are almost ready to begin their pursuit of the Black Rose. <coughs> Boy, we got ourselves a pretty nice carriage. We sure do, Athos. <laughs> You're shaking, Planchet. Pip didn't slip a piece of ice down your shirt, did he? For goodness sake, D'Artagnan, that's not it. You fellas are used to adventuring, but I find this quite scary. Well? Huh? You see that, Planchet? My sister isn't frightened at all. A lot of fellows be proud to have a wife like that to come home to. You really don't have to worry, Planchet. We won't be very far behind the carriage. And besides, we have a little surprise. And he's right here inside ah. your inn. Come on out! Mm -hmm. Oh, driver, are you ready? We're waiting. Be there in a minute. Can't get my hair to stay on. <laughs> huh? Hmm. <laughs> 
Tell me, do I really look that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, Porthos. You look really, well, different, I guess. Great disguise. Better get aboard, driver. We've got a thief to catch. That's true. All right, then. It's one for all. And, and all, all for one. one. and we'll get on their trail. <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> what a fine-looking carriage that is. Just perfect. All right, mount up and be careful. We don't want them to see us, huh? <laughs> Quickly and quietly, yeah! yeah! Let's go! Just swaddle the bait, hook, line, and sinker, my friend. Everything seems to be in order. Very well. Now you will please step down. You'd be very wise to do as I say. <clears throat> Oh. Madame and Monsieur, if you would care to join me. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh! My goodness me! What on earth do you want, sir? We are just poor on armed travelers. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh! <gasps> You're not poor, friend. If you follow my instructions exactly, none of you will come to any harm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. An interesting little bobble. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, very nice. Oh. Where are they? He's going to leave. Farewell. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. <clears throat> Hold it. Ah. It will not be as easy to escape as you thought. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Quite a skillful fencer. I guess that you're no ordinary driver. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Dear, oh dear. Well, I'm very familiar with that uniform. No wonder you're so skilled. What an interesting day. How talented are you? <laughs> Huh? Finally, one for all! And, and all, all for, for one! one. Oh. Oh. Huh? <clears throat> Doc Tanyon, what a pleasure to see you again! everyone. We have a score to settle. You won't swing away on a chandelier this time. Tell me, Dog Tanya, was this all just a clever trap in order to capture me? We knew you couldn't resist a wealthy victim, and your greed shall cost you! <laughs> oh dear. Why, you seem to have lost your sword. Right, you. Let's find out who you truly are, shall we? Uh, Hold it right there! Hmm? Uh, Arms. Whoa! You! Wait! That fellow belongs to us! He'll be leaving here with me! Oh! Oh? Huh? Never! This man is my prisoner, and I will not give him to you without a fight! It's hopeless. The rascals outnumber us by too many, Dog Tanyon. That scoundrel Bougeau has foiled us once more. But I can't understand why on earth he did such a thing. Oh. Hmm. I feel awful. All that work for nothing. Hey. Plushie, you have nothing to feel badly about. You most certainly did your part. Things simply didn't work out, that's all. Hmm. Mm. Uh. Mm. 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 All right? Mm. Good. Uh. Mm. Bujo and that thief have not seen the last of me. Be sure of that. We'd better return to Paris and report this. As Dog Tanyon and his loyal companions return to Paris, there are still many unanswered questions. They do not know Bujo's motives for kidnapping the masked man away from them. And who is the mysterious thief? <laughs>